It's another episode of Keeping It Real Estate, and we've got a great viewer question to answer on today's episode. It's going to come from Terry, and Terry is wondering about speaking with multiple realtors about selling her home, and she can't quite agree with any of them on the listing price and wondering what she should do. We're going to talk about that solution, plus tell you about a really cool event that's coming up in the greater Salem area, all on today's edition of Keeping It Real Estate. Welcome to Keeping It Real Estate with Colleen Benson and the Benson Broker Group. Group with Keller Williams. This is your go-to source for insights, expert guidance, and tips on making your real estate experience stress-free. All right, Colleen, we've got two great things on today's episode. We'll get to that community spotlight in just a few minutes where we talk about a cool local event that you've got some involvement with. But first, let's dive into this question from Terry, shall we? Terry's in Kaiser. And Terry says, I've spoken with a couple of realtors about selling my home, and I can't seem to agree with any of them on a listing price. They uh -oh. all think I should <laughs> price it lower, but I really think I can get a higher value for the home. How should I handle the situation of a disagreement over listing price with a realtor? Well, this is something you're no stranger to, right? This is a, a daily conversation, perhaps? <laughs> well, yeah, people get emotional about their home. You know, there's emotional involvement. We, we talk about this on the radio show. We've talked for years about this. And so sometimes they think the value is more than what the market bears. And that's always so hard to talk, to us, talk with a seller about the true market value. But if you're interviewing three agents and they're all giving you approximately the same price, then they're probably right on target because they're doing uh, comparative market analysis using sold comps in your area to determine the list price of your home. Now, as I always say, you've heard it many times, Walter, price is a teamwork. We price a home, it's teamwork. It's between the sellers and the realtor. I can bring you what I would list it at, what my suggested price is, but I'm also going to take into account what you need to get out of it to move to your next home and, and how it's going to make it work for you. Okay. So we can then turn it into a conversation about if we don't get the showings, if we don't get the activity, if we don't get the offers, if we get feedback that's not favorable, um, we have to look at the two things, pricing and presentation. So I would suggest you pick the realtor out of the ones you've interviewed, or let's just talk you and I will just talk. Um, but in generally speaking, you pick a realtor that you feel like you have a great rapport and communication with, and then you have that conversation about pricing and see if it's going to make sense for you at the price that the market is, is at right now. That's a great point. And I th it's a great point and really good question from Terry because it is something, you know, who doesn't want to get the top dollar for their house and sell it? And wouldn't it be a dream to have the realtor come through and go, yeah, your expectations are fantastic. We can sell it for that much. <laughs> uh, but we got to base it in reality and make sure that we're making smart decisions through it all. And so it takes a skilled realtor, I think, to help navigate that conversation with somebody and, and be willing to understand yeah. why they think that that's the price it should sell for and set the expectations of how realistic that is yeah i mean we're handling your biggest asset we're hand you know we want to we want you to profit as much as you possibly can but we yeah. have to talk about the timeline and what that means and when you get stale on the market because you're overpriced and how those conversations with you so that you understand as a seller what happens if we miss the sweet spot on price yeah it's a great point across the board, Colleen. And again, thank you for the question, Terry. If you'd like to submit a question to be featured on a future show, you can always reach out to Colleen online at BensonBrokerGroup.com. And we don't have to feature it on the show. You can always talk to Colleen one-on-one -on -one as well. BensonBrokerGroup.com, your place to go. Or you can call or text Colleen questions at 503-830-9467. She'd be happy to talk with you, Terry, or anybody else that might be in a similar situation. Uh, the service area, if you don't know, for the Benson Broker Group is up and down the Willamette Valley from Portland to Bend along the Oregon coast and, of course, the greater Salem area and everywhere in between. She is the team leader and principal broker of Benson Broker Group, the number one Keller Williams team in the Salem office. So don't hesitate to reach out if you've got any questions at all. Stepping into the home buying arena, whether you're a first timer or it's just been a while, we've got the perfect starter package for you. Our custom home buying guide demystifies the process, breaks down the jargon and lays out the steps you'll need to take all in one place. It's your roadmap to a smooth home buying journey. 
Ready to become a savvy home buyer? Just text Oregon to 21,000 or click the link in our show description to get your free guide today. Start your journey with confidence. Text Oregon to 21,000 or tap the link now. All right, Colleen, it is time for our community spotlight, cool upcoming event that you've got some involvement with. Tell us all the details. Yeah, so we've planned out our whole calendar of all the things we're going to do to give back to the community. Um, So I'll get to those as we get later throughout the calendar year. But what I want to talk about today is our upcoming, I think this is our sixth annual um, Dr. Seuss birthday party. And this is an event we put on at the Salem Downtown Carousel for our past and current and future clients. Um, Bring your kids, bring your grandkids, bring your neighbor's kids. Um, We put on it, and so the event details, let me get to that. March 9th from noon to three, and it's going to be downtown at the carousel. If you'd like an invitation through Eventbrite, just shoot me a text with your email address, and I'll make sure you get an uh, event invite that you can RSVP so we have a head count. We'll be cooking up hot dogs. We've got free carousel rides. Um, we've got the cat in the hat will be there in person. Oh, cool. Hand, handing out, yes, handing out gifts to the kids and little goodie bags. We have a cake, face painting. So it's just a really fun afternoon. Um, it's it, it's one of my favorite events we do as a gift to our clients for using us and believing in us and trusting us and referring us mainly to your friends and family and the people you know in the area that we can also help with their real estate needs. So I'm looking forward to that again, March 9th, downtown at the carousel, but shoot me a message so that I can get you on the invite list and make sure you're, you're counted for, for, um, for the party. Perfect. It's the same uh, number that I gave a moment ago. So again, just text Colleen at 503-830-9467 if you want to come to that event. So cool. And I can't wait to hear about some of the other events that you've got coming up through the year, Colleen. Very creative. You guys are always on top of things like that and uh, giving back to the community too. (laughs) So very neat. Uh, I I want to see a picture of you and the cat in the hat. Can we share that on a future episode? Oh, heck yeah, we can. (laughs) (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, Colleen. And thanks for listening, everybody. We will We'll see you and talk to you again next time right back here on Keeping It Real Estate with Colleen Benson. 